Hi, I'm Pam from AccuQuilt, and I'm here today to show you how to make them amazing new cutting edge pattern using your new 12 inch companion and your 12 inch Go Cube set. Now, as you know, the Go Cube set can allow you to get 72 mix and match patterns, but the Go Cube companion set adds three more dies, including the chisel, the signature block, and the drunkard's path, which I love. It's such a versatile die. So we're able to put those together, and I'm going to show you how quickly it comes together using all of our AccuQuilt dies. So first of all, I have taken and cut the beginning of my block. So I've cut a half square triangle and some rectangles. I've used the number five die, which is in the Go Mix and Match 12 inch cube set, and the number eight die to cut my rectangles, again, in the Go Cube 12 inch block set. Now from the Go Cube companion set, I have taken the number nine inch die. And look at this, this is a chisel, isn't it great? So you notice that the dog ears are already cut off, so you get that perfect quarter inch seam. Now it's really important when you're making the cutting edge pattern to make sure that when you cut the chisel shape that the wrong side goes up. No, you have to think about it. Sometimes as a quilter we don't often read the directions. We think, oh, I got this. This is a really important step. So I'm going to take my purple fabric, which is going to go right here. Taking my purple fabric, I've placed it wrong side up and just barely over that shape. You'll notice that I can maybe just get a quarter of an inch so that we're not wasting fabric. Then I'm going to take this in my Go machine. You could also do this pattern using your Go Big machine. Okay, take my cutting mat, put it in here, turn the handle. Now this is kind of a tip. Okay, if you lift that cutting mat straight up, all those pieces are going to fly everywhere. Trust me, I know. So watch this. You want to slide that mat right off. Ta-da, look how pretty it is. Pull away, and now I've cut that chisel shape perfectly. All right, so the chisel shape, I've already cut these other shapes out, goes right here next to this half square triangle. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to sew those two shapes together and how perfectly they line up because we've cut off the dog ears. So first of all, I'm going to take and line up my half square triangle. I'm going to put right sides together. See how pretty that is? And I like to pin. My mother was a pinner. My grandmother was a pinner. You should be a pinner. All right. Bring it over here to my sewing machine. And because of the dog ears, I know exactly where my quarter inch seam allowance is. So I'm going to line it up here. Have to take off my shoes. If I'm going to quilt, have to take off my shoes. I'm just going to sew that seam right together. Take out my pin. Now look, I've made that perfect quarter inch seam because the dog ears are off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little iron here and I'm going to press so it lays nice and flat. Look at that. Look how easy that went together. And then ta-da, it's right here next to the shape. So this is one of the blocks you would use four of these blocks to make the block, but watch. Look how pretty it is when it comes together. So here is that chisel shape right here. Perfect half square triangle, two rectangles, and the white rectangle. Make one more black like that, and you're already ready to go. I'm Pam from AccuQuilt, and I'm here to help you cut time so you can quilt more.